What's going on everyone? I'm Matt from Universal Audio, and today we're gonna to check out the Waterfall Rotary Speaker Plugin. This plugin is an authentic emulation of a Leslie Rotary Speaker, fully modeled from the ground up to give you the same rich three-dimensional sound as the original hardware. Not only do we model every aspect of Leslie's famous spinning horn and drum speakers, but Rotary also includes an end-to-end -end emulation of the Leslie's power amp section as well, for realistic amp distortion and speaker breakup, with an added drive control for even grittier sounds. To top it all off, Rotary includes a curated vintage mic selection in multiple mono and stereo configurations for immediate album quality results, and fully adjustable rotation speed for ultimate playability and creativity. Let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. It wouldn't be a proper demo of a Rotary speaker if we didn't check it out on organ, so let's start there. First, I'm just gonna play the dry organ and then I'll turn it on halfway through so you can hear what it sounds like. The most recognizable part of this plugin are the spinning horn and drum speakers, and Rotary gives you a few different options for controlling the rotation speed. There's a fast setting and a slow setting, and then you can fine tune the speed for each speaker from there. Let's check out what those settings sound like. One of the things that makes our rotary speaker so realistic is we actually modeled all of the mechanical and wind noises of the speakers spinning around. And you'll really notice that when you're on the fast speed. If you don't wanna hear those sounds, click the settings cog in the top left corner of the plugin GUI and you can lower that mechanical noise level. Now there's also a brake setting which stops the rotation completely and lets you manually place the horn and drum speakers to get exactly the sound you want. This is a really powerful way to adjust the tonal balance before we even get to the microphone settings. Like I mentioned, you can also fine tune the rotation speed for each speaker individually using these trim knobs at the top of the GUI, and you can automate all those parameters to match the tempo of your song exactly. Now let's talk about the miking options. Rotary gives you a number of vintage mics to choose from and a few different mono and stereo configurations so you can choose exactly the sound and stereo image that you want for your track. Let's turn the balance knob to horn so we're only hearing those mics. Let's flip through a few of the configurations to see what we can get. Now just like the horn speaker, we also have a few different mics to choose from for the drum speaker, which give you the same kind of tonal range. Even though Leslie speakers are most well known for being paired with organs, they also work great on other sources as well. So next, let's check out Rotary on a guitar track. Now one section we haven't talked about yet is the power amp. There's two knobs here, a volume knob, which is what you would have found on the original hardware, just sets the overall volume going to the speakers. But on our waterfall rotary speaker, we also added a drive control, which lets you get even more grittier and distorted sounds. And it works really well for guitar. So let's go ahead and play this track back. I'm gonna tweak that drive knob until we're getting the amount of grit that we want. We'll hear what that sounds like. Now that drive knob dirties up the sound in a really cool way, but it also gives us a lot of brightness. And one way I like to deal with this is using the balance knob, turning it slightly towards the drum speaker just so we're rolling off some of those highs and hearing less of the horn speaker. Let's hear what that sounds like. Now by using different combinations of settings with the volume and drive knobs, you can access a whole wide range of tones from clean all the way to fully distorted and saturated. Now aside from using the balance knob, another way to deal with that brightness is by using a different mic selection for the horn speakers. One of my favorite mics for this purpose is the Coles 4038. It has a really smoky vintage sound that roll off those high frequencies in a really cool way. Now I like the way this is sounding, but the last thing I wanna do is fine tune the rotation speed a little bit to see if we can better match it to the tempo of our song, so let's check that out. So 
So for this last example, let's check out Rotary on an even less traditional source, background vocals. Now in this case, I want to be able to control the wet and dry balance of the vocals and the Rotary speaker, so I'm going to load up Rotary on an aux end and send my background vocals to it. Now we haven't checked out the preset browser yet, so let's open that up, select the vocal tag, and see what options we have here. So I like the movement that Rotary is adding to these background vocals, but again, it's just a tiny bit too bright for my taste, so I'm gonna use the same trick as before and roll that balance knob towards the drum speaker to get rid of some of those upper frequencies. And finally, let's hear that in the context of the full mix. As we've seen, Waterfall Rotary has so many uses beyond just organs and keyboards, and with how much control and flexibility this plugin gives you, it can literally be tailored to any style or source. Personally, I can't wait to see all the cool ways that people come up with to use it in their projects. Waterfall Rotary is available natively for Mac and PC, either for standalone purchase or on subscription as part of UAD Spark. Try it out today for free for 14 days at uaudio.com. For more info, check out the product manuals in our knowledge base, and don't forget to subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel for more videos. I'll see you next time.